Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I'd just film a quick little get ready with me before I run out and grab coffee. Uh, nothing like new that I'm trying out, just stuff that I've done before. But I just thought I'd film something really quick today because it's really cold and windy today. I had to shut all of my windows. Yeah, my face is super, super dry. So I'm just gonna actually start off with the Caudalie grape water. There were just like a lot of dry patches. So hopefully this spray will help with that. I like to do it if I did like skincare like a few hours ago, just to refresh the skin a little bit and give a little bit extra hydration. I also have a cold, so if I sound a little bit stuffy, that's why. Had Korean leftover, Korean takeover leftover? Korean takeout leftover for lunch. So I'm a little bit stuffed, so I'm ready to get my coffee on later. It's really cold. I kind of want to go to Sephora and buy some makeup though. I want to buy, I just want to try that like milk uh, sunshine foundation. I don't remember what it's called, but I watched it in Alana's video yesterday and I really want to try it. But I also have to run some errands today. You know how like when you get Korean takeout, they give you like a lettuce, four lettuce wraps, but they didn't give me enough. They never give me enough, so I have to run out and get that. I know, really interesting story. But I'm gonna go in with the Milk Blur Stick. I got this little mini one when I got like um, a little like sample kit that actually came with this Tarte eyeliner that I'm gonna be using later. But what I do is, since it's so tiny, I'm just gonna put it all across the face and then I like blend it out with my hands as well. I didn't think I was gonna like this as much as I did, but it actually helps like to smooth out my pores it doesn't cause any like patchiness or dryness, at least not on me, as long as I moisturize. But I just like to blend it out a little bit, make sure I get it everywhere. Sometimes I go back and add a little bit more, especially around my cheek and nose area and forehead. My skin is not the best today. It feels really congested and red. And I look I feel like I look a little bit gray. Maybe this top isn't helping. But I'm gonna go in with the Glossier Skin Tint in Dark. I know that they came out with like 12 shades now instead of, what is it, the six that they had. So when I run out of this, it'll be interesting to find what shade to replace it with. Ooh, maybe it is running out. I'm still into really light coverage foundation, but the milk one sounds kind of nice. The sunshine. I'm probably getting the name wrong, but the one that's like has SPF in it, the one that's like a roller ball pen. I find that the Glossier one, I know lots of people complain about the coverage, but I just like that it gives my skin like a little bit of color. It makes me look a little bit more alive than I was just like 10 seconds ago. Okay. Concealer time, the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Macadamia. I feel like there's a spot there. Yeah, my skin's just been super, super dry lately. I don't know if you can hear the sirens in the background. I apologize. I feel like I already look less tired, but there's still work to do. The Fenty Beauty uh, Matchstick in the color Mocha. I think I'm just gonna use it as a contour. I don't think I'm gonna do bronzer today. Maybe I will. I'm just going to do a little bit here, a little bit here, a little bit here. On my jawline. Maybe a little along the sides of my nose. I just like to blend this in with fingers. I know it looks really dark, but it blends out pretty well. Now that I have, I feel like I have no more shows to watch. That's not true. So I'm watching True Detective, the current season at the moment, but because it's, you know, it gets released once a week and we're in like the age of Netflix and binge watching, having to wait a week every time for a new episode is so, it's so frustrating because obviously they leave the episode on a cliff, like on a cliffhanger and I just have to wait a week to watch it. So if anyone else is watching it, the current season, please uh, let me know how you like it so far. Or if you don't like it, but I'm, I'm really liking this season so far because it's really like, it's really similar to the first season, which is the last good season. The second season was terrible. 
I'm gonna I'm just gonna go in with a little blush. This is the Hourglass uh, Mood Exposure. I've actually hit pan on this. It's I'm so excited. I'm so proud because I use this blush every day. I think I've had it for almost a year now. I'm pretty sure I got it last February, sometime around then. It's just such like a beautiful, beautiful blush because it has like very light shimmer in it. It has like a light glow, very, very subtle glow. And that's really good if you are lazy like me and don't want to highlight, but I still highlight. I love highlighter, but I just put it, blend it in with a contour. I look more alive now. Put a little bit across my nose. When this runs out, I will definitely pick up another one. I also really want to try their bronzer. I am about to run out of their eyebrow pencil. This is my second one. I already purchased a backup because I think they're so good. So this is like a huge moment for me to convert to this one just because I was like very, very loyal to the Anastasia one. I think this one has better like holding power. It, it lasts a little bit longer, especially because I have no eyebrows here and I don't like the natural shape of my brows. I, I'm sort of like, I'm drawing on bare skin at like at the tails, but it just lasts a really long time. I think the form is a little bit waxier. It has that triangle tip that I think takes a little bit of adjusting to get used to, but once you get it, it's really nice. It's a little bit more expensive than the, uh, than the Anastasia brow is, but because this lasts so much longer, like about six months. Uh, I think it's a better value if you do like this one because the Anastasia one, because the tip is so thin, I found that I was replacing like every two months. So that kind of adds up. This one I've had for about six months. So just if you're thinking about converting. Really went off the rails there about the eyebrow pencil. So what am I doing now? I'm gonna do highlighter. I'm gonna go in with the Glossier uh, Halo Scope in the quartz color. This one I'm almost done with as well. There's like a different feeling of accomplishment when you hit pan on like a makeup product, but I do use this every day as well. I have a backup of this as well, sitting somewhere. Once I'm done with this, I will be moving on to that one. I apply straight from the stick. I know some people like to warm it up on their fingers first. Whatever floats your boat, you know, my apartment's usually kind of warm so such a beautiful highlighter like if you're looking for an everyday highlighter that's not too shimmery just kind of looks a little bit glossy that really lit from within look i love glossy packaging i find that their packaging is very similar to the milk makeup i feel like they're going after the same audience i like it i don't mind it i think like i like that a lot of their stuff are in stick form which makes it really travel friendly and I like the glossy one too, just because there's like, they don't use glass uh, on like their foundations or concealers. I lied, stretch concealer is definitely glass, but I do find that Glossier's products are very, very uh, travel friendly. And I'm just, I feel like I've been blending this for a while now. Love this highlighter, cannot wait to use this up and open my new one. I think I am gonna go in with bronzer and use a Too Faced Sun Bunny. It's the one that looks like this. I'm just gonna use my Bobbi Brown sheer powder brush. I sound really out of breath. Anyway, do a little bit of bronzing, not too much. But I feel like that's a lot. It's fine. Just keep going. I feel like it looks more orangey on camera than it does in real life. I'm just gonna keep blending it out with my fingers a little bit. Just soften the edges, especially on my cheeks. That is better. Eyeshadow. I'm gonna go with the Vizart Golden Hour eyeshadow palette. Haven't used this in a while. I love this palette, but the thing about it is it's so hard to open. And it's not just me. I've had friends who've come over and I've done their makeup and I've tried to open it. Ugh, you like, you need nails to like dig into this little lip right here. It's annoying, but other than that, it's such like a beautiful, beautiful palette. It has like a good amount of mattes and shimmer. I feel like good colors to travel with. I recently just bought, or I ordered, the NARS Skin Deep eyeshadow palette. I don't know when it's coming. Last time I ordered something from Sephora, it was lost. Finally got it to me, but it took a while. I'm very excited to try that eyeshadow palette. It looks, 
it just looks like my sort of colors, like very neutral colors. I don't think I have an eyeshadow palette from NARS, so that would be kind of exciting to try that and see, um, yeah, and see how it performs. I bought it sort of on a whim because I read it on the Anna edit that she ordered it, so naturally I have to try it. I ordered it and thought to myself it'll be a nice little Valentine's Day present to myself because you gotta treat yourself. I think I'm gonna mix this color here, the top one, and this like copper color here. I find that Vizart eyeshadows mix really, really well. I'm using a, two, a MAC 217, I'm just gonna mix on the back of my hand. They mix really well, they blend really well. I think they're really, really, really like good quality eyeshadows. I feel like that's what they're known for. I think I like that, that's a pretty color. I'm also thinking about starting the show Sex Education on Netflix. Heard lots of good things. I just have a hard time starting a show sometimes, even though it's just one episode, because I feel like it's a lot of commitment to start a show and then watch it throughout the years, only for it to sometimes A, get really bad, or B, get canceled like all the Marvel shows did. And then I just feel like I never get closure. Or yeah, or you watch a show like Lost, if you guys remember that show. That got really, really bad. And I felt like I wasted a lot of my time. It's like, it's like investing yourself in a relationship, essentially. But I am really excited for Game of Thrones because it's Game of Thrones and I've I hate to sound like one of those people, but I'm going to say it anyway because I need everyone to know. I started that show on the first night that it premiered, so I feel like I've been there since its birth, and I'm just very, very committed to that show and finding out what happens in the last season and who gets the Iron Throne. I'm sorry if no one watches that show. I have no idea what I'm talking about. My best friend and I watch it. And yeah, we live text each other when we're watching it. It's, you know, tradition. And this is the last season in April. And if you are thinking about starting the show, if you're one of like the five people on earth who haven't started the show, you should because it's a great, it's a great time. I don't know what I'm really saying. This is, ooh, ah, I think I'm gonna use, let's see. I'm gonna take this color here and just like do a little bit of shimmer on the eyes. Oh, that's nice. The champagne color here and do it on the inner corner of my eye. Doesn't hurt to have a next little extra shimmer there. I like that. I look very like bronzy today. I know I talked about this earlier. This is the Tartice Tartus. Tartice Tartus. Basically, okay, this is the Tarte double eyeliner. One end has a pencil like this, and then the other end has a liquid, liquid nib. I do really, really like this formula. It goes on like really black and it's really pigmented. I'm talking about the liquid end. But I don't think the staining power for whatever reason is as nice as the Stila one. Maybe it's just my eyes. I don't really use primer anymore, although I should. The Stila one has better holding power against my, my like, oily eyelids. The usual, like, typical eyeliner, the wing eyeliner that I do. The tip, I will say, is, like, thicker than the, um, the Stila one. So it's got, like, it, it's not as floppy, if that makes sense. Feels more stable but it, it is a thicker nib so I think like I've had this for a while so it's not like a first impression or anything but I think it still does a flick really well I find that when I go in to do my second eye it tends to dry out so I tend to put the cap back on and give it another shake just to help it a little bit because I think you know it touches the powder eyeshadow and it just kind of dries out a little bit so it's just something that I noticed because the nib is a little bit thicker, it's a little bit harder just to get that flick to get really thin, like to taper right at the end. It's not impossible because I did it, but it's just, you can't really rely on the sides. You know what I'm talking about? If you do this technique 
if you use this if you go to the side and like flick it out since the bottom knit like of the nib is a little bit thicker it's not focusing but since the bottom's a little bit thicker if you go in with the side like this and flick at an angle you just have to go in with a lighter hand i think if you are very comfortable with liquid eyeliner this shouldn't be a problem for you i think it's a good eyeliner i think if you use primer eyeshadow primer is probably not an issue you probably should pick one up i've just been too lazy to use eyeshadow primer but i should do that my hair is kind of a mess today i have it in a low ponytail because I have not done my hair yet and I probably won't. Before I put mascara on, I'm gonna do my eyebrows. I am at the end of this pencil, so I find that the end, so it might be a little bit difficult to get the product out. That's all I have, I've twisted it all the way up, so we'll see how this goes. I just find that this eyebrow pencil, it doesn't look the most like natural in terms of like putting feathery strokes in like you can with the brow wiz it's just so much faster and like that's what i like about it it saves me a lot of time when i'm doing my makeup mm, they look as even as i'm gonna get them to be today since they are different every day i'm just gonna brush it through i'm gonna stop touching them it's so windy out today i can hear the wind i don't know if the camera's picking that up but it's really windy. <laughs> I had to shut the windows and make sure there's not like a lot of noise. I mentioned this in my current favorites video. This is the Hourglass Caution Mascara. This is my new favorite. This has such like a nice brush. It's not too big. So I feel like it doesn't like get on my eyelids when I'm doing it. Really smudge proof for me as well. I know mascara is different for everyone, but for me, this one just doesn't smudge as much as uh, some of the other mascaras that I've tried. It provides pretty good volume. I, I say that like with my really skinny eyelashes, like my eyelashes are nothing to write home about. They're short, they like stick straight down. So they take a lot of maneuvering when I'm curling them. If you're comparing this eye and that eye, there's a really big difference. And the brush is like, pointy enough at the end that I can go in at the ends like this. I think it does hold the curl up pretty well. Yeah, pretty volumizing. I'm gonna do the bottom lashes as well. I feel like my bottom lashes are so sparse that it honestly barely makes a difference, but I'm gonna do it anyway. For lips, I am using Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk. It's just, it's just like a nice little like nude rose shade and I feel like it's it's, it looks nice on a lot of different skin tones. Because I'm tan, I feel like the nude lipsticks that they usually market is really like pale and it washes me out. I feel like this is a nice little in between. I know it's not like a true nude. It's such a pretty color. So that's like the lip color and that's my, the bottom that's my natural lip color. It just gives me a little bit more life. And it's very comfortable to wear. And that's really it. It's just, yeah, it's really easy. And I feel like it's a very low maintenance color. So if you're eating, if you're drinking, and it comes off, it doesn't look that different from my natural lip color that I feel like I absolutely need to touch up. That's the finished look. I look, I look very bronzy. But this is not too far from what I typically do on a day-to-day, -day, except like with fewer products when I'm running out of my apartment. I don't do the contouring, I don't do the bronzer. Probably gonna skip the eyeliner because I can get a little bit fussy with that. But yeah, this is this is it. Hope you like this look. I look very bronzy today, which is good for weather like today. I feel like it'll make me pretend that it's summer even though we could not be farther away from spring or summer. I hope you all have a lovely Valentine's Day, whether you're celebrating by yourself with your significant other or like with your gal pals. I will be ordering a ton of takeout and yeah, I'm not making any sense right now, but I will see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.